That said, with regard to the sentence in this case, as to Travis McMichael, Mr. McMichael, the court sentences you as follows. Count one, malice murder, life without the possibility of parole. Count two, felony murder, is vacated by operation of law. Count three, felony murder, vacated by operation of law. Count four, felony murder, vacated by operation of law. Count five, felony murder, vacated by operation of law. Count six, aggravated assault, merges into count one. Count seven, aggravated assault. The court sentences the defendant to 20 years consecutive to count one. Count eight, false imprisonment, merges into count one. Count nine, attempted false imprisonment, five years concurrent to count seven. That is life plus 20. Greg McMichael, the court sentences you as follows. Count one, malice murder, defendant was found not guilty. Count two, felony murder, life without the possibility of parole. Count three, felony murder, vacated, I wanna say vacated, it's vacated by operation of law in all cases, I just, I'm not gonna repeat it. Count four, vacated. Count five, vacated. Count six, merges into count two. Count seven, aggravated assault, 20 years consecutive to count two. Count eight, 10 years concurrent to count seven. Count nine, five years concurrent to count seven. That is life plus 20 years. Roddy Bryan, I do wanna separate a little bit because the state is making a different recommendation and despite the back and forth that uh, Mr. Goff and I had during this case, I do want to point out a couple of things that he raised that I think are appropriate to raise with regard to the sentence. Um, as far as the remorse, um, I think Roddy Bryan stands in very different shoes. Um, it is obvious from the beginning uh, that he questioned the tragedy that had occurred at the scene. It was on, uh, I believe, I can't remember whose body cam, but the body cam, in fact, questioning whether or not what had occurred had occurred. And then took steps early on in this process, I think, that demonstrated that he had grave concerns that what had occurred should not have occurred. And I think that does make Mr. Bryan's situation a little bit different. However, Mr. Bryan has been convicted of felony murder. And I do not uh, believe it can be uh, disputed based on the facts of this case that uh, the verdict uh, was an appropriate verdict based upon the evidence presented at least. And when I say appropriate, what I mean is legal. Um, because I believe there's some, been some discussion about some differences between Mr. Bryan and, uh, and the McMichaels. Um, there may be some differences, but it does not change the fact that was it not for the fact that Mr. Bryan used his vehicle in a way to uh, impede Mr. Arbery's uh, course of travel, this may not have ever occurred, and that is sufficient for felony murder. He did cooperate with law enforcement. I will point out uh, Mr. Goff 17101B, there's actually a case out of Chatham County uh, that says it would not apply under the circumstances of this case. So the court recognizing that Mr. Bryan's position is different. Uh, again, Mr. Bryan was found not guilty on count one and count two. The court sentences Mr. Bryan to uh, life with the possibility of parole on count three. Count four is vacated. Count five is vacated. Count six, the defendant was found not guilty. Count seven merges into count three. The defendant is sentenced to 10 years consecutive to count three on count eight and five years concurrent with count eight. Both of those counts though will be suspended sentences, which gives Mr. Bryan a life with the possibility of parole sentence. Those are the sentences, the court having pronounced sentence, first with regard to Travis McMichael. Mr. McMichael. You are hereby notified that under the law of Georgia, you are entitled to appeal the guilty verdict of the jury. And if you decide to do so, you must file your appeal within 30 days of this date. You are also informed that you have the right to retain a lawyer of your own choice to represent you on your post-trial motions and appeals to the appropriate appellate court of Georgia. 
If you cannot afford a lawyer, the court will appoint one for you. You are entitled to and will be given a transcript of all pretrial, trial, and post-trial matters without cost to you if you cannot afford a transcript. You may file a motion for a new trial or you may appeal your case directly to the appropriate appellate court of Georgia for review. You are also advised that the statute of limitations for habeas corpus in this state is four years in the case of felonies and one year in the case of misdemeanors. The statute begins to run from the date the conviction becomes final. And just to be clear on the record, I'm gonna go through the statement with regard to each defendant. So as to Gregory McMichael, you are hereby notified that under the law of Georgia, you are entitled to appeal the guilty verdict of the jury. And if you decide to do so, you must file your appeal within 30 days of this date. You are also informed that you have the right to retain a lawyer of your own choice to represent you on your post-trial motions and appeals to the appropriate appellate court of Georgia. If you cannot afford a lawyer, the court will appoint one for you. You are entitled to and will be given a transcript of all pretrial, trial, and post-trial matters without cost to you if you cannot afford a transcript. You may file a motion for a new trial or you may appeal your case directly to the appropriate appellate court of Georgia. You are also advised that the statute of limitations for habeas corpus in this state is four years in the case of felonies and one year in the case of misdemeanors. The statute begins to run from the date the conviction becomes final. And then finally, Mr. Bryan. You are hereby notified that under the law of Georgia, you are entitled to appeal the guilty verdict of the jury. And if you decide to do so, you must file your appeal within 30 days of this date. You are also informed that you have the right to retain a lawyer of your own choice to represent you on your post-trial motions and appeals to the appropriate appellate court of Georgia. If you cannot afford a lawyer, the court will appoint one for you. You are entitled to and will be given a transcript of all pretrial, trial, and post-trial matters without cost to you if you cannot afford a transcript. You may file a motion for a new trial or you may appeal your case directly to the appropriate appellate court of Georgia for review. You're also advised that the statute of limitations for habeas corpus in this state is four years in the case of felonies and one year in the case of misdemeanors. The statute begins to run from the date the conviction becomes final. Don't have a blue or black pen. Is there a blue or black pen down there? Thank you. The court has executed the statement of appeal for Travis McMichael, Greg McMichael, and William R. Bryan. If I could please have counsel and the defendants execute the statements of appeal to confirm they've been given. Are the notices been given? Thank you. 